Hello, this is Phil Gibbs, manager of the Advanced Analytics Group and SAS Technical Support. In this video, you'll learn about the various methods available in SAS Stat software to score predictive regression models. What exactly is scoring? Scoring is the act of producing predictions from a predictive mathematical model. Scoring is not something that is new to statistics or to SAS. ProcReg provided a method for scoring when it was first introduced in the very early versions of SAS software. What is new are some of the techniques available for scoring in SAS. Now that we know what scoring is, what things do we need to perform this act of scoring? We need a statistical model, a function of the available data and of parameters estimated from these data. We need specific values of a set of predictors and specific values of the parameters. We can have a simple linear model where the model is a function of the predictors and the parameters or a more complex general linear model where the model is a function of functions of the data and the parameters. An important distinction in scoring is when will the scoring be done. Some models are more difficult and resource consuming to fit than others. If you will need to score new data after the model is fit, then you will want to use a scoring technique that will package up the model fit. Those techniques will avoid the extra expense of refitting the model when the scoring is done. If you are scoring new data at the same time that the model is fit, then you will have more scoring techniques at your disposal. This table shows the available techniques for scoring in SAS Stat software. PROC score, PROC PLM, and the code statement are techniques you can use to score new data at any time in the future without having to refit the model. The score statement and the missing response trick can be used only when you fit the model. Also note that PROC score can only be used with linear models. So, you have estimated a predictive regression model. You now have a new set of data for which you wish to create predictions. What do you do? If your model is linear, like a model produced using ProcReg, then ProcScore is a familiar tool for producing predictions. Now let's take a look at three modern techniques for scoring predictive regression models. Let's look at an example using ProcPLM. When you are fitting a model with a procedure like ProcGLM Select, you can package up the model results, including the estimated model parameters, into a SAS item store using the store statement in ProcGLM Select. This item store can be used to score new data today, tomorrow, or even next year. Get into the habit of using the store statement, especially with your production models. Model item stores can save you time and effort if you need to refit the model later. To score a new data set using Proc PLM, restore the SAS item store using the restore equals option in the Proc PLM statement. Then use the score statement to score a new set of data as specified in the data equals option. The out equals option specifies a SAS data set to contain the predictions. You can also request additional statistics about the prediction, like upper and lower confidence limits. If you can do the scoring at the same time as fitting the model, then you can use the score statement to accomplish that task. The syntax is very simple. You specify the data to score in the data equals option, and you specify a new SAS data set to hold the predictions using the out equals option. Another tool for packaging up the model fit is the code statement. You can use the code statement at model fit time to create SAS data step statements that create predicted values using the model and estimated parameters. The code that is created can be complex, depending on the type of model you are fitting, but you can simply percent include the code in a SAS data step to create your predictions. Not all of these techniques are available in every SAS modeling procedure. You can always resort to the missing value for the response trick to generate predicted values with any modeling procedure. This technique requires that you add the observations to be scored to the data set you want to use to fit your model. Set the response values for these observations to missing. Observations with missing responses will not be used to fit the model, but predicted values can be requested in the modeling procedure and will be produced for these special observations. Problems can arise when you are scoring a new set of observations. You might have missing values in your predictors. A predicted response cannot be created when any of the predictor variables are missing. Fortunately, PROC-MI and PROC-MI-ANALYZE can help here, enabling you to impute values for those missing predictors. Scoring methods cannot create predictions for new levels of classification effect variables. If you have two levels of a classification effect in the data used to develop a model, and you introduce a third level of that classification effect in your scoring data, 
then predictions for observations involving that new third level will be set to missing. Finally, scoring with models involving splines can be very difficult to do. Lastly, I would like to briefly discuss the methods available in SAS VIA for scoring. You can use all of the approaches we have discussed so far in your SAS VIA coding. You can also use the ASTOR action and the ASTOR procedure to create predictions. You can manage your PROC ASTOR models with SAS Model Manager, and you can score new data in parallel inside SAS, inside SAS VIA, or even within a database. PROC ASTOR code supports complicated modeling techniques such as random forests and neural nets, and even works with models involving spline effects. In this video, we have introduced you to three new ways of scoring predictive regression models. The score statement can score your regression models at the same time the model is fit, while PROC PLM and the code statement can score your regression models at fit time or after the model is fit. The missing value for the response trick enables you to generate predictions in any modeling situation. I hope you have found this presentation helpful. Thanks for watching.